Good evening and welcome. This evening's prayer will be in the spirit of the Teze community and is a meditative form of prayer. Gathered in the presence of Christ, we sing uncomplicated, repetitive songs, uncluttered by too many words, allowing the mystery of God to become tangible through the beauty of simplicity. A few words sung over and over again reinforce the meditative quality of prayer. They express a basic reality of faith that can quickly be grasped by the intellect and that gradually penetrates the whole being. To find the worship aid, please visit stdenis.org, S-T-D-E-N-I-S.org. Everyone, we invite all of you at home to join us now in this prayer of adoration. O Christ, in your resurrection, you have destroyed sin and death. O Christ, in your resurrection, you have brought all humanity from death to life. O Christ, in your resurrection, you have spoken joyful news to the women and the apostles and salvation for the whole world. O Christ, in your resurrection, you breathed the Holy Spirit upon your disciples. O Christ, in your resurrection, you promised to be with us to the end of time. O Christ, in your resurrection, you sent out your apostles to the ends of the earth. O Christ, in your resurrection, you are the beginning, the firstborn from among the dead. O Christ, in your resurrection, you reconcile all things on earth and in heaven. Amen.
When we try to express communion with God in words, we rapidly reach the end of our capacities. But in the depths of our being, Christ is praying far more than we imagine. Compared to the immensity of that hidden prayer of Christ in us, our explicit praying dwindles to almost nothing. That is why silence is so essential in discovering the heart of prayer. Although God never stops trying to communicate with us, God never wants to impose anything on us. Often God's voice comes in a whisper, in a breath of silence. Remaining in silence in God's presence, open to the Spirit, we are already in prayer. We will now continue in that prayer with a few moments of silence. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. See, days are coming when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors, the day I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. They broke my covenant, though I was their master. But this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. They will no longer teach their friends and relatives, know the Lord. Everyone, from least to greatest, shall know me, for I will forgive their iniquity and no longer remember their sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Bless the 
A reading from the first letter of Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now for a little while you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that is perishable even though tested by fire, may prove to be for praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet believe in him, you rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ, 
A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. For the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that one died for all. Therefore, all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. And all of this is from God, who has reconciled us to himself through Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation. Namely, God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, read 
Everyone, if I might invite all of us and all of you at home to please stand for our gospel reading. We stand when the gospel is proclaimed out of reverence and respect because it is Christ himself who speaks to us when the gospel is proclaimed. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated.
Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin? Jesus is calling. Have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for a drink from the well? Jesus is calling. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Leave behind your regrets and mistakes. Come today, there's no reason to wait. Jesus is calling. Bring your sorrows and trade them for joy. From the ashes a new life is born. Jesus is calling. Oh, come to the altar. The Arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought Jesus Christ Oh, what a Savior Isn't he wonderful Sing hallelujah Christ is risen, bow down before him, for he is Lord of all, sing hallelujah, Christ is risen, he's risen.
everyone for our prayers of intercession, inviting all of you at home, if you would please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of God, you ask that your church receive the Spirit to strengthen it in faith. Make us attentive to your word. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of God, you guide your church at all times by the same Spirit. Make us attentive to your word, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, risen from the dead, you open for us a road towards you and towards others. Even when all ways seem closed, make us attentive to your word. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, our brother, you are with all who suffer. Comfort them by your word. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, our brother, you send us in your name to those who need your consolation. Make us attentive to your presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Spirit of the living God, you renew your church by offering us a springtime of reconciliation. Guide us by your word, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our ear.
God, our loving Father, grant wisdom to those who govern us, compassion and courage to those who work to defend human life, and safety and care to every human being. For you alone who formed us in our mother's wombs and who call us home to heaven, our God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed, Blessed be, be the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, the Paraclete. Blessed, Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. On earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven. See 
Please, the call.